50 years ago, a group of black law students at Case Western Reserve University established the second black law students association in the nation. Students, alumni, friends, and faculty gathered to share memories at a luncheon celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Black Law Students Association. James Alexander, Carolyn Watts Allen, Gerald Jackson, and the Honorable Herbert Phipps participated in a panel discussion moderated by Professor Aisha Bell Hardaway. FALSA was established at Case Western Reserve University on April 10, 1970 by Gerald M. Jackson, Albert Stewart Jr., James Alexander Jr., Carolyn Watts Allen, Walter R. Stone, Leonard Young, and Nathaniel Backus III. Judge Phipps recapped some of his comments from the alumni and faculty dinner the previous night. Where are the lawyers? Where are the lawyers? The Supreme Court has sent us back to the Edmund Pettus Bridge. We have to redig this old well. Forget about the shallow grave. I was wrong. Jim Crow is not dead. Our Supreme Court has resuscitated him. Lawyers and judges must have the courage to do the right thing when the whole world is watching and the character to do the right thing when no one is watching. Our clients do, but we lawyers do not have the right to remain silent. Our clients do, but we lawyers do not have the right to remain silent. Thank you very much. event concluded with a ribbon cutting ceremony at the new Balsa office in the law school. Next year we look forward to celebrating another year of connecting students and alumni at homecoming.